Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely well. So guys, on today's video, we are going to see 10 HTML interview questions you must know. So before starting the video, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I regularly upload these kinds of helpful videos for all of you related to interview preparation and off campus drives. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet. So without doing much ado, let's start with our first interview question for today. So the first interview question as always is the most basic one but it is always asked to test your knowledge about the language. So the question is what is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It is the language of World Wide Web. It is a standard text formatting language which is used to create and display pages on the web. HTML makes the text more interactive and dynamic. It can turn text into images, tables, links. HTML pages are saved by adding the .htm or .html in web page name. Now one thing to note over here is uh, you also have you should also mention that we should have we always have a boilerplate which we can add in the in some of the text editors. So which always shows that you also know that the basic syntax of HTML you can get it from the boilerplate. Moving on to the next question which is what is the difference between HTML elements and tags? This is one of the most important interview question because many a times people get confused between these terms and use these terms interchangeably. So let's first of all see what are elements. Element is an individual component of the HTML web page or document. It represents semantics or meanings. For example, the title element represents the title of the document. Okay, the next thing is tags. It is the root of the HTML document which is used to sp specify that document is HTML. For example, the head tag is used to contain all the head element in the HTML file. So you have to understand that HTML element is just simply an element that represents the semantics or the meaning like the title element whereas tag is the root of the HTML document which is used to specify that document and the example for this is head tag. So, which contains the other elements in itself. Moving on, what is the third question that we have? What are attributes and how do you use them? So, the answer for this is each tag has additional attributes that change the way the tag behaves or is displayed. For example, input tag has a type attribute which you can use to specify whether it is a text field, checkbox, radio button or one of the many more options. Attributes are specified directly after the name of the tag. Inside the two angle brackets, they should only up, ever appear in opening tags or in self-closing tags, but they can never be in closing tags. For example, so in the input uh, tag over here that we have, type equals text is our attribute. Okay. So they, it is also mentioned that they should only appear in the opening tags or in self-closing tags. So the tag that we have here is a self-closing tag. So it can either be appear in this way or in an open, opening tag where we have uh, input opening tag and input closing tag. So inside the opening tag we can mention the attribute but we can never mention an attribute inside the closing tag. So this is the only attribute that attribute provides additional information about the tag like that what will be the type of this input field like checkbox or text or radio and we have many attributes related to a particular tag moving on to the next question what is the difference between a block level element and an inline element so the answer for this is first of all let's see the block level element a block level element is drawn as a block that stretches to fill the full width available to it that is the width of its container and will always start on a new line elements are block level by default so the examples are div image section form nav basically block level elements what they does is they takes the entire space and always starts from the new line whereas inline elements are drawn where they are defined and only takes up the space space that is absolutely needed the easiest way to understand how they work is look at how text flows on a page the examples of inline elements are span bold strong anchor input so you must have observed that these are always added inside some additional tags or even if they are added separately, they will only take the space that is needed and can and, and it is not fixed that inline elements will always start from a uh, new line. So inline elements will start from wherever we have added it. Okay. So this is the main difference between the block level element and the inline element. Moving on to the next question. What are comments used in HTML? 
sorry when are the comments used okay so what is the use of comments and when are they used so the answer for this is to understand the code easily you can add code comments to your html document they are not displayed in the browser but they help you to leave the notes for yourself and other developers as to what a section of html is for the start of a comment is denoted by this bracket and then uh, this exclamation mark and dash and then the end is marked by this symbol anything in the middle will be completely ignored even if it contains the valid html so you can see how can we add the html uh, comments so in this in this way we can add the comments so what it will do is it will not display it on the screen instead it will just for the meaning purpose like if someone else uh, some else developer is reading your code they can understand it next question is what are the html tags used to display the data in the tabular form so the tags that we have are first is table so it defines a table next is tr this tag defines a row in a table the third one is th it defines a header cell in a table next one is td this is used to define a cell in a table okay and the next one is caption it defines the table caption call group it defines a group of one or more columns in a table for formatting call this is used with call group element to specify column properties for each column t body this tag is used to group body content in a table t add it is used to group the header content in a table t footer it is used to group the footer contents in a table so these are all the tags that are mostly used for table moving on to the next question how to create a hyperlink in html the html provides an anchor tag to create hyperlink that links one page to another page these tags can appear in any of the following ways so the examples are unvisited link visited link and active link so unvisited link is displayed under with underline and blue and visited link it is displayed underline and purple and active link it is displayed underline and red so you can see even the syntax how to mention the uh, hyperlink in html you we can mention the hyperlink using the anchor tag and inside the href attribute we usually mention the html uh, hyperlink moving on to the next question name some common lists that are used when designing a page so there are many common lists you used for designing a page you can choose any or a combination of the following list types so the examples that we have are ordered list unordered list and definition list now let us understand about each of this list so the ordered list is displayed displays the elements in a numbered format it is represented by ol tag whereas the unordered list is displaying the elements in a bulleted format it is represented by ul tag next one is definition list definition list displays elements in definition form like a dictionary and the tags that we use are dl and dt and dd so dl stands for uh, definition list dt stands for definition uh, table and so on moving on what is semantic html so semantic html is a coding style it is the use of html markup to reinforce the semantic or meaning of the content for example in semantic html bold tag is not used for bold statement as well as i is not i tag is not used for italic instead of these two what we use is strong and em em stands for emphasize so you can see bold b and i are not meaningful and we, you cannot understand simply by reading them but strong clearly shows that the text will be strong and em also clearly states that the text will be emphasized so semantic html is just a coding style where we use the uh, html marker to reinforce the semantics or meaning of the content so while using the semantic html we make sure that the content is meaningful moving on how to create a next step web page in html the html iframe tag is used to display a nested web page in other words it represents a web page within a web page the html iframe tag defines an inline frame for example we have uh, so this is the boilerplate of html that we have taken here we have an h2 which says that html example and now what we are doing is we are using an iframe tag where the source we have in the source we will mention the a link of the page and height and width will be the height and width of this iframe so that uh, what will be the window size in which you want to show your web page so in this way we can uh, show a web page inside a web page which is called as a nested web page in html so i hope you have you now have got the understanding of all the 10 interview questions just in case if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section and guys i regularly make these kinds of interview questions sometimes 10 sometimes 20 and sometimes top 50 interview questions based on a particular language so make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that whenever i upload such interview questions 
so you can directly get a notification about it so thanks for watching the video and i will see you in next video